Greetings, welcome back to Hartenberg Wine Estate and from all of us here, a very happy new year to you all. I will talk to you today about serving temperature of wine and in particular red wine, seeing as how most of us drink our white wine chilled anyway. The serving temperature of a wine can either make or break uh, the drinking experience uh, and therefore has a big influence on your final judgment of a wine. Why is it important to chill a red wine? Uh, well, a red wine that is uh, served above 20 degrees Celsius can seem quite alcoholic, it can lose its fresh fruit flavors, uh, and can be quite flabby on the palate. I'm sure most of us have had an experience with wine that is served uh, too warm, uh, and certainly that uh, doesn't linger too long in the memory indeed. When it comes to the different styles of wine, while 16 degrees Celsius is optimum for most wines, uh, different styles of wine um, are best drunk at different uh, temperatures. Uh, for your, light, your lighter, fruitier styles of red wine, uh, we normally recommend between 12 and 14 degrees Celsius, um, just in the case of the doorkeeper Grenache, Shiraz and Mouvedre. Um, the cooler temperature enhances the refreshment factor of this particular wine, and that's highly recommended indeed. When it comes to the more medium bodied styles of wine, uh, I'll give an example of our 2016 vintage of the Merlot. Now this has got a bit more structure to it and certainly the tannins are not too aggressive, but certainly they are a bit more prominent than in the GSM. We recommend between 14 and 16 degrees Celsius uh, and that is certainly optimum for this wine. Uh, when it comes to uh, much more structured, fuller bodied wines, which will have a much more tannic grip, I'll use a very superlative example of the 2016 vintage of the Stork Shiraz. Now this is a wine certainly that uh, is meant for aging, but if you must drink it young, uh, we recommend drinking it slightly warmer than the other two, uh, between 17 and 18 degrees uh, Celsius, uh, and that should um, allow for the tannins to be not as aggressive perhaps on the palate uh, as they would be uh, when it's much more chilled. Uh, highly recommended indeed. How do we get red wine to its optimum temperature? Uh, well, apart from the use of a wine cellar or indeed a wine fridge, um, keeping the wine for about 30 minutes uh, in the refrigerator um, should bring it down to the optimum temperature as well, just before service. This is good for air-conditioned spaces uh, and for dinner dates, uh, but if you are traveling um, in quite warm weather, there's a range of accessories available uh, to keep the bottle or indeed to keep the wine cool uh, while you are uh, drinking it. Okay. At Hartenberg, we have this handy contraption called a frosty bag. Uh, and uh, you put this in the freezer for a certain time until the liquid inside freezes and then you can put your bottle of wine uh, in here, much smaller this time, um, and it keeps your wine much cooler for, for much longer. Apart from that, we have the Wenga decanter, which is a handcrafted glass from Mozambique. Uh, you put your ice in this little hole over here and it keeps the wine cold uh, while you're consuming it. That has the effect of uh, not diluting your wine as the ice melts. If you are at a restaurant and you're having some wine, a bottle of wine, uh, you can insist on the waiter bringing you an ice bucket, okay? uh, and this will keep the wine quite cool, um, but of course if it does dip below optimum temperature, it will warm up in the warm environment or indeed in the palm of your hand. And lastly, I'd like to uh, make note of how important the old-fashioned wine glass is. Um, if you hold the glass by the stem, this has the effect of not imparting uh, your hand warmth to the glass, and that keeps the wine much cooler for longer. We do certainly look forward to welcoming you back at the estate um, once the regulations do allow, uh, and cheers.